Trump president 2017 vote for him what's up you guys I am back with a video finally I've been kind of slacking in Black History Month but see what had happened was I switched departments at my job and the department that I switched to makes much more money and they like to offer a lot of um, overtime hours with incentives like they'll offer overtime with $15 extra an hour, $20 extra dollars an hour, sometimes $30 and $40 extra dollars an hour. So these past two weeks that I should have been making more videos and reading more books getting my coins you feel me but I'm making a video on this last day of the month to tell you that those six books that I was supposed to read I did not so if you remember I was supposed to read um, Between the World and Me by Tony Easy Coates Brown Girl in the Ring by Nalo Hopkinson Fledgling by Octavia Butler and you guys picked for me to read How to Be Black by Baritone Day Thurston, The Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill, and also Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. So the first book that I finished out of the six was Fledgling by Octavia Butler. This book is about vampires. It is about a vampire species called the Ina, primarily one vampire. Her name is Shuri. She wakes up and she has amnesia. And the thing that's different about Shuri is that she's black all the other vampires are white they've she's black because she was part of an experiment and her blood is mixed her Ina blood is mixed with human blood that of an african-american woman so that way she would be able to withstand the sun better than her other Ina counterparts and there's the the other Ina the older Ina have a problem with that I liked it a lot. Um, I gave it four stars. The only reason I didn't give it five stars, I felt like it could have been longer. It was missing something. I think I think it just, I felt like it needed to be longer. Coming off of Lilith's Brood and Lilith's Brood being so intricate and, and detailed because technically it's really three books. If this had been three books, it would have been amazing. It would have been five stars, but I, I wanted more. I just really, really, really wanted more. I wanted to know more about the Ina. I just, it wasn't enough. The second book that I finished was The Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill. It is about this woman, Aminata Diallo. She's a slave woman. I gave this book three stars because it is a good book. However, I'm just, I'm sick of the slave story. I don't know how else to say that I'm sick of the slave story, but to say that I'm sick of the slave story. I like to learn new things with books, but I really didn't learn anything new. I just thought some things were interesting. I did think it was interesting that this book takes place pre, well it begins pre-revolutionary war and most slave books take place like between the revolutionary war and civil war or post-civil war slavery going into sharecropping situation and it also gives you perspective from the British side rather the American side of what's going on. One thing I did learn about this book, I didn't really learn it but it kind of I didn't think about it or whatever until now. One thing I know about to compare it to the Holocaust, a lot of the reason why people allowed it to happen is because of propaganda and how the concentration camps were portrayed as sanitary and fun places and blah 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 blah. They used to make them make videos of them being happy and shit. Anyway, they spread that same propaganda about the slave trade and how the ships were safe, how the slaves were being taken care of and blah, 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 blah. And they really weren't. And I don't know why that never occurred to me that that was happening, that they were lying about what was going on in the slave ships. I just thought they weren't lying and people were just accepting of the shitty ass fucking situation that was going on in these slave ships. But they pretended like they didn't know because the propaganda was spread that it was safe and sanitary. You, you guys get what the hell I'm saying. I don't know why my, my brain didn't make that connection, but I came to the revelation reading this book. Third book that I finished was Brown Girl in the Ring by Nayla Hopkinson, which I actually do not have here. I do not know where the hell it is. It takes place in Canada, which I did not know until I started reading it. Basically some political stuff happened. They were arguing over some things and all the businesses and eventually the police and just everybody up and 
left Toronto and moved elsewhere. These people kind of like made their own community and then this guy kind of takes over or whatever and it's about this girl, some stuff happens and then there's like spirits and voodoo and a lot of broken English and uh, different Caribbean dialect and I gave it three stars. It was good. Really it was more like two and a half stars. It was one of those, there were some parts that I was like, yes, yes, and flipping through the pages and it was really good and interesting. Then there were some parts where it was just like, this is boring as fuck. Really all I can say it was better than Ruby. And then, this is where we start to go downhill. So I picked up Between the World and Me by Ta-Nehisi Coates. No lie, my first thought when I started reading it is, why are there so many big words? <laughs> I haven't had to look up a word in a book in a long time, and I swear to God, I looked up five words that were in this book. Number two, I can already tell you that this book is not gonna get any more than three stars from me. I'm not saying that its content is not good. I'm not saying that what he's saying is not relevant. My problem is, for one, it seems really pretentious. Two, it's nothing in here that I don't know or haven't heard or isn't being pre presented in a way that is super interesting. And three, I really think this is a book about black people for white people. This book is not for black people. And I think that's probably why it's gotten so much praise. I think I'm like the only person to not really be like, whoa, this is some good shit. Eh, I'm not finished with this. I only have actually about um, 60 more pages. I only have 60 more pages. It's really slow going because of all that shit I just described and it caught, it put a damper on all the other books that I was supposed to read. So yeah, I never got to Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison and I never got to How to Be Black which is the number one book that you guys voted but I am definitely going to be reading that and doing a review of it and I'm not going to do a review of Between the World and Me. I thought I was going to be able to but there's really nothing to talk about. Like it's it's real regular. I don't understand. So stay tuned for the review for How to Be Black because I will be reading that next. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be finished with that book by the end of this week. So be checking for the review next week. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in my belly and I'll talk to you later.